YouTube man, what's going on man? So today I'm back with another video. This video is really special man. I will be talking about how I would make over 10k per month if I had to start over man. So I literally think about this all the time like if I had to start over do I think I can do it again? And the answer is yes. I know exactly what I would have to do to get to 10k per month. So in this video I'll be giving y'all, you feel me, the game, what I think, how you can get to 10k per month or what I would do if I had to start over. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. We almost at a thousand subs. I think we had like 750 the time of this video being recorded. Um, I'm trying to hit 10K subs by my birthday, bro, and that's in April. So if you could like, comment, and subscribe, if you enjoy my content, it would be appreciated. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open. Please make sure you comment down below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So number one, man, I would create a crazy design. I would have a crazy product. What I'm saying is you need a wow factor. Now, you probably heard me say this before. You probably heard it. Nah, you ain't heard it nowhere else. You ain't heard it nowhere else. You need a wow factor, bro. You need a wow factor. So what a wow factor simply is, is something that makes your product different. So if somebody walks in the store and see all these jackets, but this jacket is a crazy color. It got a pocket on the sleeve. It got a crazy zipper. You know what I'm saying? They're probably gonna buy that if they're a bit more flashy and it just stands out. So online, you know, you're marketing away more people. I feel like you increase your chances of people actually spending their hard earned money with you if you have a wow factor. An example is, I'll put a picture right here. I dropped some jean shorts last year, 2023. They went crazy. The thing is, everybody know jean shorts were in, but what I did was I added a wow factor. My wow factor simply was a double waist on my jean shorts. That small little difference, it's not that small, but that difference made my drop go crazy, bro. It made it go crazy. And I even dropped that many times last year. Like that drop, it went crazy. So um, um, yeah, making sure your product has a wow factor. An example of a wow factor is we all know Rick Owens. If y'all remember 2023, he had a hoodie that was trending. It had like a crazy zip going all the way. I think it was to the top. I don't know if it was to the, no, no, it wasn't to the top. It was to like your neck, but it went across the hoodie, you feel me? And it had a hood on it with a pointy hood. I had never seen nothing like that before. It made me want to cop it, but I just didn't cop it. You feel me? I'm, I'm, locked, I'm locked in right now. I think it was like a cool little schmool of 600. Maybe one day, not right now. We stacking and grinding. But anyways, but yeah, that was a wild factor on that product. Um, he did a great job at like executing the vision for that and kind of like, you could see how the internet reacted. You seen a lot of other people biting, um, kind of from what he did. I seen everybody had pointy hoodies after that. Um, and I don't know if that was a specific name, just calling it for what I see. It's a pointy hood and it got like a crazy zip up. So, that's an example of a wow factor. I just gave y'all two, one my jean shorts and then the Rick Owens hoodie. Make sure your product has something different. Um, I feel like people are more inclined to buy from you if it does. All right, so number two, I will focus on scaling one product, not 10. Now I say 10 exaggerated, but even two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products is too many, bro. Anyways, I had a kid sign up. We hopped on a call and his main thing was this was his first drop. Now, this was his first drop and he was trying to drop eight pieces. As you guys may know, I've been able to scale my clothing brand and hit up to 90K months. And after a lot of DMs, after a lot of demand, I decided to open up a free one-on-one -on -one consultation. If you're struggling to hit 10K per month or you're just starting out and you don't know what to do, make sure you book a call below. I remember I was struggling to hit 10K per month and it might just be that one strategy or framework that's stopping you from hitting the next level. He's trying to drop eight pieces in his first drop. So I said, okay, maybe he got a crazy like low MOQ or something like that and his manufacturer is messing with him. So I asked him what his MOQ was. He said 50 per piece. So if you have eight pieces and your MOQ is 50, five times eight, 40 at zero, that is 400 pieces that you have to sell to even place an order with your manufacturer. So that's kind of setting a bar high for somebody that's just dropping. That's why I say I would focus on one piece. I'm not gonna lie, when you starting out, even though you might have a love for clothing, I feel like you need to get the capital first to actually do what you wanna do. And you can get the capital through getting one hoodie and scaling that one hoodie. You don't have to have two, three, four different hoodies. I feel like you just need to find that one winning product that you know people like Make sure you have good creatives, make sure you have good marketing and just scale it. Bro, 
it is 8 billion people in the world. At least that's what Google say. Or 7 billion, something like that. It's 7, 8 billion people in the world, bro. If you can sell a thousand hoodies, let's say you're running at 20% margins on a $60 hoodie. I think that's like $18. 18 times a thousand, that's 18K in your pocket. And there's way more than a thousand people in the world. Like I said, there's billions. So let's say you even sell 10,000 hoodies. 10,000 times 18, that's 180,000. Yeah, 180,000. So profit in your pocket. That's why I said 20% margin. That's Eight, that's hundred and eighty thousand dollars in your pocket that you get to keep take home do what you want to do with it so focus on one product don't focus on more than one product I definitely made that mistake in the beginning and that's why I'm here to tell y'all don't make the same mistake now marketing 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 everybody know what I'm gonna say TikTok, Instagram reels um, marketing is the main thing that's going to get your brand out there with strategic marketing you can do as many sales as you want to you can scale your brand as far as you want to you just got to be strategic and you just got to be consistent so consistency I feel like when people hop on platforms like TikTok and Instagram reels yes that's what you should be marketing on they're not consistent you need to be consistent posting every day I have a kid in my discord he hit me up Yo, my videos aren't going viral I need help I looked at his page, he was only posted for three days. Yes, he posted three times a day for three days, but bro, you gotta be consistent, bro. These apps are only loyal to the people that are loyal to them. Not only, of course, people go viral sometimes like on some crazy shit, you feel me? But like, bro, if you're consistent and you're being loyal to the app, waking up every day, having a time you're gonna post, and you're doing it every day, and these sit the and these programs see it because remember, all these programs are is AI artificial intelligence. So it sees that Euro one two three is posting every day, every day. Of course, I'm gonna push him out to more people. He's being loyal to the platform. He's pushing good content, good quality content. We're gonna talk about that in a second. And yeah, he he's being consistent. It's good quality content our viewers are going to like this content and we're going to push it out to more viewers so that's kind of how that works don't say you post three times a day for three days and get mad and then ask me why your video didn't blow up now being a bit more on your side if you have been posting for three times a day on tiktok for three months straight i still think it's how you're posting um you feel me but i ain't gonna lie tiktok been dying out recently that's just my personal opinion from even what I've seen. It's not as easy as it was last year or the year before to just blow up on TikTok. I'm going to give y'all that. So my suggestion is to go to Instagram Reels, bro. Instagram Reels has been performing amazing for me. I have a video that just hit 200,000 views yesterday. You can look right here. Boom, put it up there. Just hit 200,000 views. So make sure you go look at Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels is all about aesthetic and consistency, I would say. Um, make sure your aesthetic is there and your consistency, meaning you're posting every day. I haven't experimented posting more than one time a day on Instagram Reels, me personally. Um, I just post daily, every day I can, and yeah, it's been performing pretty good. Don't recreate the wheel. Go look at something that's already working for somebody else. Shit, bro, you can look at my videos. One Day at Romance, go look at my videos, my Reels, if it's working, if it performed, it got over 30, if it got over 10K views, Take that same concept and use it for your brand. Do the same thing with other brand owners and other content you see. You don't have to recreate your content. It is better if you're super creative and you make something super creative because it's something new and people haven't seen it. But I feel like you need to have a balance and you just need to know yourself. So if you're not the most creative person, it's okay. Just take somebody else's content idea, add your own twist to it and post it, bro. Take my idea. You can do whatever, bro. I don't care, bro. I want to see y'all win. You feel me? I'm just keep it real. I want to see y'all win. Another tip is duo videos are working really good right now. So that video I just showed on the screen, I'm going to show it one more time. Uh, that's a duo video. So if you're a guy, a girl, however you want to do it, find you a nice, aesthetic, cool background and do a duo video showing off your hoodie or beanie, whatever you got to show, your pants. Um, and yeah, go for there. A duo video is simply just like, Two of y'all walking in the frame. Bro, go look at the video, bro. One day, Romance already showed the page. Go look at the video. Um, Yeah, those are performing good right now. Next up, sending your products to influencers. So, if you do have the budget starting out, I would recommend sending it to about five to 10 influencers. It doesn't have to be exactly five to 10, as many as you can. 
This helps with brand awareness and what's the, fuck, what's the fucking word? Brand awareness and brand credibility. So, meaning you're just starting out or you might not just be starting out, you might be doing a little smooth four or five K a month, but your brand looks more credible to buy from if they see familiar faces in your brand. So let's say Lil Baby, bro. If I see Lil Baby in a hoodie that you just dropped, I might be like, dang, that's crazy. Lil Baby just put that on with his hoodie. That's crazy, I gotta get that hoodie. Just because he made it look hard and just because Lil Baby, I seen him before and it's a familiar face. So you wanna do the same thing with small influencers um, or even big influencers if you have connections and you know them. That's why connections are so big. Um, I have a lot of friends, great with networking. Um, and they got some big people in their brand because they know how to network. So use your network. Remember your network is your net worth. But yeah, I would recommend doing that if you have the budget. If you don't have the budget, do not worry about it. This is not a must have. Um, like I said before uh, in my previous videos, I haven't had the best you know, experience with influencers. Sometimes they take the merch and you feel me, they never post. Uh, that's why I say if you have the budget. now. I do kind of experiment with it here and there, but I just like creating my own content and putting it out there because I let people make the decision if they want to cop or not based off my content. And it's more so on me, not me losing money sending it to influencers, if that makes sense. Um, but that's just my perspective. Someone else may have another perspective. That's my experience with it. So yeah, make sure if you can, send it to familiar faces, big influencers, small influencers, whoever you can, whatever you have the budget for. It. This is not a must have. This is just another tip to get you to 10K per month. Next, I will create an email and SMS list. The importance of an email and SMS list is crazy, bro. When I first started out, I started out before the whole brand wave, you feel me, kicked in. I started about three years ago, just about. Hey, yeah. So three years ago, the brand space wasn't going as crazy as it is right now. But I knew, all right, all these people looking at my post, but realistically, who's gonna remember that Dead Romance drops on Friday at three o'clock? You feel me? So it's like, I feel like people need some type of reminder or something, you feel me, to, just to let them know what's going on and just to keep them updated. So I used this app back then, I think it's called, bro, I forgot what the name of the app was. It was SMS something. That, I really came up off that app. That app really helped me a lot. I'm not gonna lie, like, I made so much money from that app. But it's not a good app now because you got other apps I'm gonna tell you. But yeah, so I used that back then. I set it up on my password page and I would just funnel people there. Now that I know, I recommend you put an email and an SMS. Go ahead and capture their email too. I was not using email marketing then. I am using it now and it's amazing. Email and SMS working together is amazing. So. I recommend you using Klaviyo. Um, that's what I use. I know some people use Postscript, but that's just SMS. Some people use MailChimp, but that's just email. So I like um, Klaviyo because it's both on one platform. And once you know how to use it, uh, you can do a lot of different things with Klaviyo. Set up a lot of different forms. And yeah, go from there. So make sure you got that email and SMS set up. Shaking my camera. Make sure you got your email and SMS set up. That is how you're gonna funnel people and make sure people know that you're dropping. I know people that has missed out on five, 10, $20,000 on their first drop because they did not have their email and SMS set up. That is one of the most important things. Email and SMS, make sure you have it set up. The next thing on the list, if you're trying to get 10K per month, if I had to start over, how I would hit 10K per month, this is one of the main things you need to do. And it's finna seem slight. It's finna seem slight, but you need to have great customer service. Now, I'm finna explain why. And once I explain it, you're gonna be like, oh, and then it's gonna, you feel me, it's gonna click. So boom. With customer service, you get more returning customers. Each customer that you have right now, if you don't have customers now, the customers you're finna get, with each customer that you have, you want them to return. Simply because you're paying for each customer. What do you mean, Euro? I'm paying for each customer. You're paying for each customer either with your time and energy or your money. I'm finna break this down to you. I know it probably don't make sense, but I'm finna break it down to you. One, your time and energy. Let's just say you got a new 100 customers because you've been posting on Reels every day. You've been posting on TikTok every day. And it's been going crazy. You just got a new 100 customers. You got 100 orders. You use your time and energy to get those 100 customers through Reels and through TikTok. So the goal is to maintain those 100 customers so you don't have to pay for them again with time and energy for the next drop. 
So you want your customers to return because the higher customer return rate you have, the less you have to pay for new customers. Meaning, okay, let's say you get 60% of those people from last drop to come back to the next drop. So that's 60 people already that will be buying from your next drop because you have good customer service, you answer emails, you answer DMs, you answer emails, you answer DMs, you shipped out fast, your packaging was nice. All of these things add up, bro, it all matters. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you have great customer service. You don't have to pay for those 60 customers again. Instead, you got 100 new customers. Now you got 160 people that caught from your second drop. 60 of those people stay. So now you got 120 that's gonna buy from you no matter what, because your customer service was good. Plus another hundred from your new drop. I know it can be confusing. And that's the same thing with Facebook ads. I'm explaining it real quick. So Facebook ads and Facebook ads, every dollar you spend matters. You have something called a CPA, cost per acquisition. So that means the amount that you pay per customer. So let's just say you pay $25 per customer. Let's say you pay $20 per customer. You pay $20 for your customer and you pay $30 to get, to get your hoodie made. So now you got $50 in this hoodie and you have a $10 profit margin. You sell them for 60. You want those same customers that you pay for it to return because you're gonna have to keep paying $20. I don't know if this is making sense to y'all, but you're gonna have to keep paying $20 every time to get a new customer. Instead, next drop that $20 that you already paid, you don't have to pay. So all you gotta do is pay for the hoodie because you have good customer service and people actually like your brand. Now you're making $30 profit and you have a 50%. So now you're making $30 profit instead of 10. So having good customer service, building a community around your brand all matters because you want your customers to come back. Uh, I want you to think of like an artist. They build fan bases, it's the same thing. These are just supporters for your brand. You're building communities for your brand that slowly build, 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 till you got a crazy amount of people and now your brand going crazy. So another reason you want top tier customer service is because your brand can spare it really fast by word of mouth. My brand has been going crazy by word of mouth. So if somebody really enjoys your product, they like your hoodies, hats, pants, whatever you drop them, you might be dropping some shoes. They gonna tell their friend, or their friend might see the hoodie and be like, that hoodie hard. Boom, it came from Dead Romance. Who's Dead Romance? Boom, 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 follow. Now you got a new follower, you got a new supporter of your brand because you had good customer service. So, or you had a hard product in the scenario I just gave, but basically I'm saying they liked your customer service, so they told them. If they ain't like your customer service, they'd probably be like, don't cop from that brand. But y'all get what I'm saying. But, Hey man, those are the six things I would do if I was trying to hit 10K per month again. 10K per month is only about 167 hoodies that you're selling at $60 per month. So all you gotta do is sell 167 hoodies. Like I said, there's billions of people in the world. There's billions. You can sell 167 hoodies in one month. You can do it. All you gotta do is focus, lock in, lock in. Don't forget that part, lock in and stay consistent, bro, and you can do it. It's not hard, it's not hard, guys. But, hey man, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Bro, bro, it's so crazy how fast I've grown in the past month. I appreciate everybody that supported me. I even been getting followers to my Instagram, like followers to my brand from this. It's so crazy, bro. So I'm just gonna keep pushing out content um, keep giving y'all game. I appreciate everybody that supported me through this whole, bro, I just started YouTube. You feel me? But I'm just saying anybody's supported me up to this point, bro, my goal is to hit 10K subs by April. That's my birthday, bro. So I appreciate it if you can like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you tapping in for this video, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.